The forensic laboratory, which was established under the previous regime, has been deemed a white elephant since its inception. This was due to the fact that the building lacked staff and equipment for some time, and as such failed to provide any support to the Criminal Investigation Department of the Ghana Police Force. Director of the Ghana Forensic Science Laboratory, Delon France, has stated that the staff of the facility has been undergoing training in efforts to ensure that the laboratory was equipped for its purpose. We would have validated 50% of the methods that we outlined our scope of work. We are also currently looking at other avenues to expand the scope of, scope of testing to meet the needs of the judicial system and support the criminal investigation. There have been mounting criticisms about the amount of money spent to construct the facility when crimes that require forensic analysis could not be diagnosed here. The evidence had to be sent to neighboring Trinidad for testing. Mr. France explained that this will soon change since some work has already been initiated with the Ghana Police Force. We've also, on a lighter note, initiated some work with the police in terms of uh, providing support of testing in areas of uh, gunshot residue. On what, what residue? Gunshot residue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, just on a smaller scale. Minister of Public Security Kemal Dramjatan had expressed his desire to revive the forensic laboratory and just recently, the forensic lab received equipment and training from the Canadian Justice Educational Society that aims to boost the work of the lab. The director noted that he was in discussions with the Ghana Police Force and the Director of Public Prosecutions on the requirements for evidence submissions. The University of Ghana was also being engaged to allow students to participate in research. The forensic lab was commissioned in 2014 and is yet to be fully operational. The multi-million dollar building has been seen as a white elephant given the number of samples that are being sent to Trinidad at high cost. The lab even suffered a fire in 2015. But from all appearances, Rihanna, the lab will soon be able to fulfill its purpose.